Even a few years ago, virtual reality was a very different place. The PlayStation VR headset, the Oculus Quest series, and the HTC Vive series, are just a few of the fantastic VR headsets available. These products are widely accessible and have a lot of game developer support. But today, we're going to discuss the Apple Vision Pro and the MetaQuest 3. Easily one of the best standalone VR headsets available, the MetaQuest 3 is Meta's best product to date. When it eventually launches, the Apple Vision Pro promises to be a technological titan. Apple has worked worked extremely hard on the mixed reality headset. The price of the MetaQuest 3 is $500 at various retailers. When it launches, the Apple Vision Pro will retail for $3,499, and purchasing it will require visiting an Apple store. Let's examine the similarities and differences between these two products. Although each company has its own unique appearance, the two headsets have similar appearances. The MetaQuest 3 features a more functional appearance with three pill-shaped modules that hold cameras and other sensors on its front made of plain white plastic. A Y-shaped head strap that crosses over and behind the user's head is located behind that. If you're interested in that, Meta also sells face interfaces and straps in blood orange and elemental blue. Given that Meta has worked hard to move the center of gravity closer to the user's face, it's a noticeable improvement over previous generations. The MetaQuest 3 sits much more securely on a person's head, thanks to this and the head strap, which reduces the likelihood of it wobbling and sliding during abrupt movements. For optimal eye comfort, Meta has also included an IPD adjustment wheel that allows you to change how close the lenses are to your eyes. With a joystick, two top buttons, and an ad hoc shoulder button on the handle, the controllers are also manageably small and comfortable to hold. Despite not being able to see them, they are relatively simple to use with a little practice. The appearance of the Apple Vision Pro is much sleeker. Numerous sensors are housed on the front, which Apple refers to as the enclosure. It has a black glass-like appearance that is admittedly cool-looking. There is just one strap that wraps around the user's head. Here, Apple doesn't squander any room. Along with some extra controls, the strap has two speakers embedded in it where it goes through your ears. In order to avoid pressure points, the strap's back ends flare out to cradle the back of your head. Although the MetaQuest 3's Y-style strap appears to be more stable, Apple has included a fit dial that tightens the strap for a snug fit. Dual LCD pancake lenses, each with a resolution of 2064 by 2208 pixels, are used in the MetaQuest 3. Compared to the previous generation of the MetaQuest, there has been a roughly 30% improvement in resolution, and a 15% improvement in field of view. We highlight the sharp visuals in our review. The MetaQuest 3 has a field of view that is 110 degrees horizontally and 96 degrees vertically. Like the Apple Vision Pro, the near-field speakers are mounted on the headband and produce remarkably loud sound, especially when compared to the MetaQuest 2. Additionally, spatial positioning is better than the previous generation and is quite good. Higher audio fidelity can be obtained by using the Quest's built-in 3.5mm headphone jack and your own headphones. The displays on the Apple Vision Pro are just better. Apple claims to have micro OLED displays with 24 megapixels resolution, or roughly 4K resolution. Although Apple's 90Hz display is slower than the MetaQuest 3's 120Hz display, the micro OLED screens have a significantly higher resolution. Apple hasn't disclosed the FOV measurements yet, but rumors suggest that it's probably about 100 degrees horizontally, so MetaQuest 3 wins there too. Similar to the MetaQuest 3, Apple incorporates speakers into the headband for audio. With a feature called Personalized Spatial Audio that functions while turning your head, Apple promises that the headphones support spatial audio. There is one for each ear. As of this writing, the MetaQuest 3 is the most powerful standalone VR headset available, powered by the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 and 8 gigs of RAM. Not only does it utilize Bluetooth 5.2 and Wi-Fi 6E for connectivity, but it can also connect to almost anything with as many features and speeds as possible. Our review indicates that the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 is more efficient overall, and offers significantly better gaming performance. It offers 12 milliseconds latency video pass-through. This implies that, regardless of what you're playing or using, it looks better and feels smoother than the majority of other standalone VR headsets on the market. Meta's Quest operating system, which is based on Android, powers the headset software. Although there is room for improvement, Quest software is generally dependable and user-friendly. In our review, we also mentioned how much easier things like room setup were now that the mixed reality setup process was in place. Apple's Vision OS is utilized by the Apple Vision Pro. Our hands-on revealed that it feels and looks like something you'd find on an iPad or iPhone, so those who are already fans of Apple products will find it familiar and comfortable. During the brief time we spent in the demo, there were no games, but gesture controls and spatial video functionality were excellent. That's probably because Apple's M2 and R1 chips work together to power the Apple Vision Pro. 
In benchmarks, the former MacBook level processor is almost certain to outperform the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2. The latter is especially made to manage and interpret the constant flow of data coming from the microphones, cameras, and sensors. We've not had much time to use the Apple Vision Pro, so it's difficult to assess performance. On paper, though, the hardware is superior, and Apple has always produced excellent software. The MetaQuest 3 will have a greater selection of games, but the Vision Pro will almost definitely be the ultimate entertainment device. All in all, the comparison is challenging. Despite being in the same product category, these two gadgets are obviously developed for very different kinds of consumers. In addition to having mixed reality, games, and entertainment, the MetaQuest 3 is less expensive. It is obviously intended to be an affordable, general-purpose VR headset that most people can use. We believe that the MetaQuest 3 is a near-perfect success in this regard. Is it flawless? No, but compared to other products in its price range, it's closer. In the meantime, the Apple Vision Pro is developed to be remarkable, beginning with its cost. The Apple Vision Pro, which retails for $3,499, is developed to be comparable to a laptop or TV. Apple has invested a great deal of time and energy into making this an indispensable component of your living room experience, whether you're watching TV or using it for spatial video. This is a great place for the Vision Pro, if you can afford it. If you like this comparison then don't forget to hit the like button, have a nice day and God bless you.